welcome to the Theory Expo. And um, I guess we really need to call this Welcome to the Seth Element. Um, Seth like Ellen. this is a Soka show. This Soka show got us wanting to record earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> got to get it in early, man. Like we need to go I mean, ahead yeah. and feel like we need to go ahead and talk. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. We just had the most recent episode uh, titled uh, Time to Fly. Um, Time to fly. Uh, a really short episode, right? Especially yeah, compared to comparison to the... It's probably like if we compared it to like Mandalorian episodes, it's probably like right on time. A lot of the Mandalorians was in the 30s, but we yeah. just got like a 50 and a 40 minute episode of Ahsoka. So this yeah. one went by real fast, right? Went by real fast. Yeah. Did it feel like that for you, though? No, I didn't feel like that for me. I didn't I, feel I, like I'm saying it like it went by fast, like yeah. it was no, a short it. episode. Yeah, it did. But, it did. but it wasn't like for me, it was it was like so for me, it had a lot going on. It right. did. He stuffed a lot in that 37 minutes. Yeah. There was a lot going on for me. So, like, it ended and it was like, okay, I know, like, damn, it's short. But it wasn't like, damn, they just kind of a blink of an eye episode. That was, I don't know. It was, it was, it was weird. But it was uh, definitely, the, it was the, like I say, not, not definitely, it was easily the shortest episode. And this was the one, uh, the, uh, I think we bigged her up on the last episode. And we, then we kind of sunk her for, for the Boba Fett. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, we gave her a hard time um, for that bubble. Yeah, trying for to find her fat, bubble fat like, episode. Yeah, Steph yeah. Steph Green did this episode as well. I really yeah, thought that was Steph Green when I first saw that name last week. I meant to bring that up. I, I knew it was Steph until you said it was Steph. Like, yeah, because because oh, because you know Steph. you know yes yeah, because he he literally he he has some involvement in some Star Wars projects. I know with like Robot Chicken and all that. And mm-hmm. I think he had a show lined up um, that he was supposed to do for Disney, but it, it never came to fruition. But yeah, man. Steph Green. Yeah. Yeah, Steph Green that did it. So but go ahead. What'd you say? No, no, no. I'll just bring bring it up. She got to do the second episode. I think I th- Filoni got another one. I think it's it's either four or five. Uh if, okay, yeah. I, I, whatever he, it is, I think the one he do is gonna be the one we hear in that at that Anakin voice we heard in that one uh teaser. Mm. Filoni do one more. I think Rick from a Ua, uh he do the last episode. He okay, do the finale. Yeah. He do the finale. Uh, I thought that I saw that. Um, I thought I heard or read or maybe I saw a podcast. I thought uh, Bryce was doing one, but it don't look like she on the she on the call sheet for any of these. I need to look up the other yeah. directors. But I, I remember that. I thought I heard her say that that she was doing. No, she's doing one of the acolytes. I think. Okay, I, think I saw that. So yeah. she's doing an acolyte episode. But I was Should shocked to actually see that. I was actually yeah. shocked to see that. Uh, Rick. Rick doing one of he doing one of these. So, but yeah, that, that's that's yeah. That down the line. Right. Uh, we're here to talk about um this most recent episode. Um right. so I just go overall as we come out of it. Uh what do you think and do you have what are you like instantly things you want to call out, good or bad, right? You have anything that you want to call out? Because you sound it, like you certainly to talk. Yeah, I, I really wanted to get to this one while the thoughts was fresh in my head. Like, yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. I'm be honest, be and the reason I wanted to I want to hurry up and record is because this for me this was like the most. This was a moment of clarity as a Star Wars fan, somebody who's been following it all these years. This was a moment of clarity for me, man. Um, like, this is Star Wars, like. You can't, cause it's a lot of noise, man, from 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 different sides, right? Like, you know, we mm-hmm. we always hear about people, you know, and I'm one of them, complaining about the sequel trilogy. Then you got people who still didn't like who didn't like the prequels back in the day. And you got you got a you got a, a crowd out there that's still calling, like they they searching for something in Star Wars. They're searching for something that they're familiar with and that they and they can appreciate that reminds them of of the old days, right? And for me, man, this I'm, like when I saw this episode, I was like, and I and I, I don't love everything about what's going on in, in the soak. I don't let me say that. But yeah, with this yeah, yeah. episode, I'm like, it goes back to what we talked about with with um, the Mandalorian season three, where it was like, no, this is the show that they meant to make. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is the show that they meant to write. But the moment of clarity I'm speaking of is realizing that. This is this is not like you you can't we we said this last week like you can't you can't say this isn't Star Wars first of all, but I'm like this is a continuation 
of George Lucas's vision. You got, I got chills, man. <laughs> you feel me? Like I got the same thing wrote down. But go ahead, man. Golly, like, like this is this is a continuation of the vision of George Lucas from the prequels. So I'm so the thing, you know, I'm like, and I and I thought about it, like I said, the noise coming from from different sides, and I'm like, I'm like, you got to ask yourself. What exactly do you want if you don't if, like I can understand not loving everything that's going on here, but you can't tell 100%. me you cannot tell me this isn't Star Wars. No, this is Star Wars. Everything you see in here, like hey, people, you know, look the, the dialogue, the the spectacle of it all, letting that tell the story instead of focusing on dial and the dialogue. And I get it, like it's a lot of stuff going on here. Again, like I said, I don't love all of it, but I appreciate all of it because it's it's the true vision of what Star Wars coming from somebody who who was um who was mentored by mentored by George Lucas. This is a continuation of his vision. When I saw this episode, the last thing that I thought was like George Lucas would have wrote this episode the exact same way. And I'm not in and, and granted, not everything word for word and, and, and everything. Every it was good about that is because I don't want obviously I don't want Filoni to just make a complete copy of what George Lucas did. He has his own ideas and his own vision. But this is a continuation of where we left off in the prequels. Yeah. Live action. This is this is it. You can't. So if you if you could if you don't like this. Then. Just ain't you don't it. like like what you, what are you gonna do? Because there's it's, it's no magical because you can't say, oh man, George wouldn't have did that. Yes, yeah. he would have. Yes, <laughs> like the this, this was like, popping up. This like this is what this is a that, continuation of what George would have did. That force conversation that they were having was a George conversation said by Philip oh, that they probably had a thousand times together. Because I, I came I came to that same line of you I used my Mando season three uh now uh, uh thing I said hey look this is the story now the thing about it and the thing about what Filoni is is like now nah, all this you for anybody that's for anybody because what you get is you get the two you get both sides and it's extreme well it seem extreme right because especially if you go online they seem extreme like it's 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 a hundred it's it's the, the most worst thing or it's the best thing and then nobody wants to hear each other as they talk, they just talking over each other. Exactly. And there's this middle ground of us that have complaints, but still come back to Star Wars because we love it, right? Because you could complain about something. Like you say, this thing is not, this thing is not a flawless thing, but it's Star Wars, it's Star Wars at its core. Yeah, it's Star, it's exactly. Star Wars it's, at its core. <laughs> he, you don't he get there, no more man. Star Wars than this. This nah, is Star, Star Wars at its core. This is Filoni having a conversation talking about Star Wars, and we just watched it. We just watched it. Now, after, like you say, after that, they can say food for thought. You do the dishes after that, and that's not that's no shade at nobody, right? Because you can yeah. still not like it, but you right. can't it just because then 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 it comes to the point like you know what, it just might not be for you anymore. Like what you that it, feeling that's that, what that, that's what you, you got to come to. Had, that's the moment of clarity. You yes. to, the feeling that you must had, you may not get that feeling again. Like I remember, you know, sometimes back in the day, something was better than what it really was in your mind. Right, like it was. Oh man, I wish I could, because I had this burger from here, or you, whatever, whatever the situation was. It was. It could be a relationship, and then y'all get back together. You're like, oh damn, I'm okay. It really wasn't that. Really wasn't that. Yeah. Whatever the situation nah. was, that's maybe a feeling that people are chasing that they can't, uh, they can't get anymore, and that's okay, right? That's just a reality. That's you say moment of clarity that we have to come to. And it's Filoni, like, because like then, then the excuses, then it's like, if, if you don't like what Filoni doing, you just don't like it anymore. And that's OK. Right. That's a, or that's anybody that was like, oh, I like this. And then you see in this and you have a bunch like, no, this is Filoni. This is the guy that's been because to, to, this thing about has been giving it to you for like the stuff that you liked or claim to like over the last 10 years. It's been Filoni that's giving it. There to you me. go. So there's and another group. My, there's another yeah. group I wanted to add earlier that you say, like, man, it's people do. There was a people that was die hard for the original trilogy. Then there was the people who they originally so die hard for the original trilogy that they couldn't accept the prequels, right? And then you have mm -hmm. the group of people that that's not messing with the sequels, right? And then you have the people that they could like it all, but what messing with animation? That's right? true. 
and not notice that some of the best storytelling that was happening in the last Facts. 10 years was coming from animation, Facts. right? Yeah, right. Facts. They wasn't messing with none of that. And you you kind of even got this group now that's like they don't want to mess with the TV shows. They mess with their other stuff, but they don't want to get involved with the the the, the episodic stuff. So you're always yeah, gonna have different kind of factions. But but for, for this right here, man, like like you say, short episode, but it definitely was it was Star Wars at its core. All the way man. through, <laughs> right? Man. From I'm, I'm talking about a slice, a slice. World War II. Of, oh man, oh, it was all there, man. Like you want to talk about somebody who understands George's visions with the prequels, like you said, the war, the World War II um, homage, the homage watch- to 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 the to the forties and um, World War II era planes and vehicles and, and just. That whole industrial era, yeah, and you brought up a good point, man. You you brought up a good point, um, and, and that was a good point too. The, the, what you previously said when you you, you talked about uh, the last ten years, right? Because you know it's been eleven years since they took uh, Disney took over. But here's the but yeah. the thing is, you got to ask yourself again. This is what I mean about the you know going back to the not the like you said not the keep rehashing the moment of clarity, but you got to you had a you had a road here. You had a crossroads <laughs> like. Yeah. This might be the end of the line for a lot of people, man. Like, yeah. because you got to ask yourself, ask yourself these questions, okay? In the last 20 years, uh, let's say, I forgot, when did um, Revenge of the Sith come out? 2006, 2005 or six, I think it's right. Six. So let's say almost 20 years. Let's just say 20, the last 20 years. Who like what Star Wars have you been getting? Like, think about the Star Wars that we got. We got yeah. we got some Falon. We got George Lucas with his last movie. Yeah. We got the yeah. animated uh, shows. We got Clone Wars, and we got Rebels. And then Disney mm-hmm. took over, and Disney dropped five movies, and they dropped shows in between though, and or after those, right? We we know how a lot of people feel about the sequel trilogy, right? A lot of people didn't appreciate yeah. that, and, and one of the complaints was it, you know, just wasn't like Star Wars, and it was a lot of, you know, and they did characters dirty, right? Yeah, no. Vic, but you got to no ask family. yourself, yeah. you got to ask yourself, did you like any of it? Did you did you yeah. like the stuff previous to what Disney did? And if you mm. did, like, where where's the disconnect at now? And if you didn't. Then, what have you been waiting on for the last twenty years? Yeah, what are we like? Honestly, on? What, what are we holding? What are we on holding to? on to? Are we what waiting we for another t- original trilogy? Because the truth be told, George's true vision was in the prequels. That was the first time he took. We talked about this. It was the first time he was able to what he wanted. He put on screen. Whereas the original yeah, it's trilogy, ILM was, document. It's in the ILM document. It's in the, it's in the ILM that. document. He says he's that. saying that. It's not our. It's not he, our he words. Like the, that's his the words. OT. Yeah. That's the OT. Right. That's no, like he was frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's like, nobody like, else's work. So, so you got to ask yourself, like, it might be over for you. And, yeah, uh, and, and like you said, I agree with you. That's not. That's not the end of the world. Like that's not. That's okay. It's okay, but we can't come to grips with yourself. Moment of clarity, yeah. <laughs> yeah you heard right. so, yeah. thank God for granting me this moment of clarity. Like, yeah. this is the this is it. This, this is, is it. it, man. Like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta ask yourself, like, what's worth? Like, are you are you ready to keep going? Because you can't sit here and say this ain't Star Wars. I get the sequel trilogy. Um, hey, that's not Luke. Oh, Leia wouldn't do that. Han huh? didn't wouldn't turn out like that. I get that. I get that. But this right here, this is the last 20 years uh, sans Disney. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is the last 20 years before Disney. This is before Disney. We was getting this. So so I get, if you think Disney got an agenda, and, and I get that. 100%. Hey, that's not what Dave Filoni's doing, though. <laughs> this Star Wars. This this Star Wars. This prequels, and up until now, Star Wars. You ain't gonna get nothing after this. It's Filoni. It's Filoni. I told you, like I was saying, we said before we started recording. One of the reasons is I'm not. I will be complaining more because of, and I'm saying that I'm. I will be complaining about the Ahsoka show more if it wasn't Filoni doing. Because then I would. Then I wouldn't have the trust. Like these are Filoni's characters, right? Ahsoka, Sabine, Hera, all them are Filoni's characters, right? 
that if it wasn't Filoni, if it was someone else, like, uh, you know what? Like, if, if Disney had done this right, if Disney had said, okay, cool, I know you created the Clone Wars, <laughs> I know George created, I know you did the Clone Wars and you got you got the Rebels and all this and all that, you've been a big part of the Mando, you know, we probably noticed that you really wasn't around for season three. You know you was there for season one and two. Like, it's probably you could tell because you've been doing this. But you know what? Let somebody else. We're going to let Bryce do. We're going to get our own writers, and we're going to let Bryce do this entire series, right? And then some of these, then some of the, you know, maybe decisions are being made or this, that, and the third. I'll be like, well, Bryce, that doesn't mean Bryce's character. Bryce is, Bryce is probably putting her, she's probably projecting herself into this, and mm -hmm. we get this, and we get that, and all these different things. And then, like, mm -hmm. why would you do that? Dave Filoni wouldn't have did that. Like, this is, the, I would be saying that, but, like, I look, these are Dave's characters. Right. And Dave doing it. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking now when I'm watching it, like there's a reason Dave doing this. Yeah. Like they, Dave, Dave under Dave, it, Dave, Dave doing it. Cause it's, it's Dave. Dave it's not, it's this. not anybody it's, else. It's, Dave. it's not anybody no interference. Else. Yeah. This ain't, no, it's Dave doing this. Just, just Dave. Right. Dave, this Dave's plan, you know, whether so you yeah, like or to, not. To your, to your point, man, this is Star Wars. Like this, this not that. So if there was long with the way, you know, as I keep, piggybacking on what you're saying but this is a this i, I funny because i was watching that when the show ended i was just like man i was just like you know if if this ain't for you none of this is for you anymore none of this is for you it ain't like rooting 14 like you know sometimes it's like you know my line <laughs> yeah. i always be like hey man you might if all this complaining you might need to start watching sports <laughs> like let this stuff go go watch sports and then you know yeah. you got a hometown team and you root for them good or bad right and you keep going yep. and they could be bad for 30 years, right? See how I'm watching? I told you I'm watching Hard Knocks. The Jets have been terrible forever. They hyped as hell right now. And people come yep. out in droves to watch the Jets, right? They've been terrible all my life. Out there, maybe I, except for like two years. You know, those are sports fans, right? That's mm -hmm. different. This right here, if an IP don't work for you for one, you got you to gotta let it go. You got to let it go. Let and it it's, go. Again, you got to let it go. It's over. And that's okay. Yeah. But, it, you know. You can't, but you can't use the you can't use the excuse of I can't believe they doing this and, yeah. and yeah, with some you of the shows, yeah, the some of the movies, yeah, yeah they did, they are you doing definitely stuff. can you definitely can. But here, it's like, nah, this is Dave Filoni. V, do you do you know who Dave Filoni is? Yeah. If you know who Dave Filoni, if you're watching the show, you 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 gotta you have an idea who Dave Filoni is. You're not just watching Ahsoka. Like you know who Dave Filoni is if you if you get if you at this point so. If knowing who, who Dave Filoni is, there's no, you know, there's no plan that you shouldn't, you should be like completely shocked by. Like, oh, I can't believe they're taking it in this direction. Like, yeah, it's Dave Filoni, bro. Like, he's not, Filoni, dog. He not trying to fool you. Like, th this is what this man does. He just, he finally got the green, you know, he's reached the level now he can do live action. It took him, it took him a while. He had to learn from some people, but this is his story. This is what he want to do. This is what he's always done. You see a Pergill in the episode. I was like, that's that's, that's Dave Filoni. It ain't that ain't nothing. Again, man, and like I said, but we'll we'll segue into like what are some of the what what else what are because you because you asked me, I segue it back to you. What are some of the good? What's the good and the bad that you saw? Like, give me give me give me give me your good and your bad you got from the episode, or it, it, or if you had all good, like whatever you know. I had a, I had a really good time with this episode. So like you know, because then it goes to the point like, you know, when you, you had these discussions and you, you sometimes you can reach for something bad or reach for something that's good. You, you get high, you know, you you raise your voice and you be like, you know, I had a lot of fun. And you know, somebody they probably <laughs> lying. They they just trying to sell it. Uh, I was sitting yeah. there. I was sitting there. Um, um. I, I, honestly, the, the the if I wanted to nitpick, I'd be I'd be like the you know the length of the episode, and then maybe um. Um, um, I was saying maybe not seeing Balin, like I, I find him so interesting, right? Um, kind of stationary at the moment, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just kind of like so when I say to make the make the case about the Filoni, right? Like so, some of the directions that that Filoni is doing, and I have to look at it like, yo, Filoni doing this for a reason because Filoni to me, it's maybe I'm giving him too much credit, but I feel like Filoni is having a discussion, right? So when we open up and we having this. This 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 training session, right? We have this. We have we have um, uh, which is dope. Which is dope, by the way. Just seeing her, yeah. just seeing how my man um, Heiko, yeah. 
who, oh, who Yang say his name wrong oh, yeah. every time. Hey. Yeah. I love Hu Yang, Yang so much because one voice of the, by one David of the Tennant have, too, man. Yeah. Voice by David Tennant. One of the problems I have with some of these shows that come out, and that's all different shows, not just that. I will just watch just something else, right? That I just got my way through. Um, um, where hell, even like The Last of Us, right? Where like you had the young girl, and like there's a, just a, such a long pity party that's happening. Right. <laughs> you don't know me. Yeah. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. You can't. Right. right? And the show just keeps going on. Like, and then sometimes like you, it was something I, I wish I could have my really good example because it was something I just finished watching. And I was like, they spent the entire season. Oh, Punisher season two, which I love, by the way. I oh, finally yeah. finished yeah. watching it. Right. But like they went the whole season. I don't ever think she really knew that she was wrong. Oh, you <laughs> talking about old girl? <laughs> Young girl. I'm, I, I, yeah, I just watched that recently. Fam, she yeah. was so wrong. She never beat, really but they barely got that kind right. of back in her face that Facts. she was wrong. Like totally wrong. She changed my man's whole life. Well, I mean, he was already living that life, but like he was, he had a girl from the bar. They was living. He was about to be good. Yeah. yeah. And for the stuff that they was doing, and that uh, smear pain, and all the things that they were doing, mm. and blackmailing that 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 particular squad she was with, family. and all the people yeah. that was getting killed. She never had to deal with the fact <laughs> that she was wrong, right? And even yeah. with the even with the, the cop, right? Like the 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 the, the what's her name? It Cutie, the um detective, the the home home uh, um home uh homeland security. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Though, right? The apartment yeah, that blanket. they were staying in, that one the one who got played, saw, yeah, by, uh, the, the one who got the, played uh, by the by my yeah you know, yeah the, the one that was uh, the oh, main man. Ended up killing old yeah, girl just at, like, or throwing old girl out the window at the end. But yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like they get this whole yeah. season of that, and that was my fear. And and Filoni brought in Hugh Yang to cut that shit out. Yeah, I like, like that. I, was, I, meant to, like, I meant to text you that. Like, man, Hugh Yang really not even. <laughs> he ain't trying yeah, to hear so none of that. that. Like, it's it's cool to feel like that. I'm not saying that that's not a legit feeling that you because because um, Sabine going through a situation right, like where like. She don't even have the confidence in herself, like the confidence in her, like her natural ability of being a Mandalorian that she's always had. Like, you know, I tell you all the time, so, so being cold at everything. Yeah. So, like, if they just would have easily just gave her the force, I would have been salty, but I'd have been like, well, that probably explained it because she was cold at everything, right? She never was not cold at anything. Hell, she she was able to decipher how they can get into the world between worlds and out of it, right? Like, she figured it out. She was cold. But even every time she tried to do that, who ain't shut that shit down, right? And then she, yeah. and then she, okay, I, all right, I get it, right, right. Like he, he shuts that shit down. Yeah. Uh, and hers yeah, is less than so. everybody else. She's really just got she got survivor's remorse, right? Like, yeah. Like she's been dealing with that, and she's trying to take on this Jedi thing. I, I you know, mind. forward forward talking. I think ultimately is going to lead her back to her Mandalorian, like. And even Toka kind of said it, like, <laughs> I don't That's need you to be her, be a Jedi. I need her. Yeah, I need Sabine not. to be Sabine. That God, and it's kind of like a repeat of the Canaan teaching. Even when he was, even when he was showing her how to use the dark saber, but you got to use the dark saber like you would use it, not as if like a force used as a Jedi would use a as a lightsaber. And I think that's what this is going to ultimately happen. Just kind of a repeat, a re retelling of in of that story, but through through Ahsoka. Say all that to say, I love, I love every time it's about to turn to that. And I, I personally have a problem with that. When when shows do that, that who yank did that shit instantly. <laughs> yeah, you the worst yeah. that I've ever seen. Right? No, you are. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm not. I'm not here to tell you. <laughs> you wouldn't even. No, yeah. don't say that. You're not the. You're no. amazing, and you're no, yeah. no, no. You are get the it, worst. girl, and all that shit. Like, yeah, <laughs> you can like, do it. Sabine, nah. You cold, but you're not nah. cold at this. You're not a Jedi though. You're not good. Yeah, you the worst I've ever seen. She even tried to bring it up. Like, well, according to who yang, I'm the worst that they. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I think it's gonna play a part, whatever version of if it plays in Sabine. But it's just like Filoni, like it's Filoni telling us that the force determines what the force does. You just have to be receptive to what when it makes its choice, right? Like it's not a it's not a uh it's not a, a thing that you and I can you you being Manny and me being Jermaine being like, see, you gotta have so many midi chlorians to be this force. Like, <laughs> listen to George. He's had, he's telling you like the force resides in all of us. Like he, you know, like, and then there's, it's deeper yeah. than just midichlorian count. Like people got, you know, like, me too. Don't get me wrong. Me too. 
got lost in the middle of chlorian count, right? Yeah. Took that one nugget and ran with that about the force. I just listen to force. Just, just listen to a compilation of George interviews. Listen to like them making the prequels and the behind the scenes with George. We laugh at the port line, but he got a lot more stuff and is just talking about the force. He got that figured out. Floney do too. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I think that's one of the, the good things. That, 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 now, mind you, they they putting it. So if I said something that would be like, wow, that's that's a this a they putting the force out there a lot. Like, how are yeah. they going to do this? Because, like, are we going to have, are we setting up for this magical moment where, where Sabine uses it? Oh. Right? <sighs> or is it a situation, is there's a moment where Sabine understands it and becomes one with it? Right? <laughs> like, mm. that's where her connection to the Force is, right? That's probably, if I said the one thing, like I say, other than the time of the episode, uh, if I ever, I, I just think, it, the, other than the, the length of the episode, I would say, the emphasis on the force, while I appreciate the the nuance that 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 that, that Filoni um, is doing, and then ultimately will respect whatever way because this is Filoni, right? And this is it. Whatever way Filoni goes with how it impacts me, I don't know personally. Well, I know personally. If we sat here today, and then all of a sudden, uh, Sabine can move a cup, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna like that. See, there we go. We 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 agree on that. A cup, I don't think I'm gonna like that. I'm just gonna keep it a bug. I need Sabine to oh, be Mandalorian man. Sabine, right? Man, I'm boy. Whether she's using a saber or not. You pulling me up. I don't want to see her move. I'm the on cup. a ledge with it. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't want to see her move the cup. I don't want that to happen. No matter if it's a dramatic event like and she uses, she's able that, to like, man. I don't want um I just don't want that to happen. Like, I don't want to get we talk about the sequels. One of the one of the one of the bad ways that they didn't, especially when it comes to the force, like how long I don't want to compare it to Luke and all them and all that. But like like the way the force all of a sudden came to Ray. Yeah. And the way then the last one, the return of uh, uh Rise of Skywalker, how it all of a sudden came to Finn too. Even though he didn't move anything, but that sense, like it was like, what, yeah, how was this? Yeah, we 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 haven't had any kind of one to kind of like, mm. just we didn't even get exposition about it <laughs> for those things to just happen, right? <sighs> right, like like so like it would feel like that if all of a sudden, no matter all the stuff we get right now, she could move a cup, and I just hope that don't happen. So we'll break. All right, so that sound. All right, so that sounds like. You kind of went over your your dislike, right? Because we'll, we'll we'll come back. But let me and, let me, and that's a just... that's a long that's a down the line dislike, right? Because it ain't happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's the implications, man. That's no, I'm with you. I'm right? with you because I'm because I'm like you said, we can nitpick. And just let me, I'm a piggyback off that what you said, um, because you kind of you kind of talked me off the ledge because I really didn't like it. I felt like like you like you saying it's long term. I immediately was against it. It was one yeah. of my biggest peeves about the entire episode. Yeah, this, it, yeah, it was bad. I was kind of like, please no. But but I like I like. Let me just say I like the majority. I like the episode. I like it a lot. Like yeah, you said, 100%. I had a good time with it. But just to piggyback off your like what you said, that's also my dislike is is uh, I don't like what it implies, right? Because yeah. it, it just to me, I just I, I start asking immediately. All right, so damn, what, what the hell? Why did Plu Koon uh, find Ahsoka? Why did why did they snatch Mace Windu out of his uh, his mom's arms when he was a baby? Why did they? Who found like and it, like like what what was the point of the Jedi? And again, do this just go back to the Jedi? Just that this that particular part of the uh, era of the Order doing things a certain way? Is that what they're gonna end up telling us? But it's like, why did the Jedi go through all this? Uh, finding babies, finding infants around the, the, the galaxy, taking them from their families because they have force sensitivity. Why did they do that if anybody can just do that? Why Why did they, you know what I mean? And that, these are just yeah. the questions I start asking. Like, oh, 100%. Why is that, what, like, what are you trying to say, Filoni? Like, anybody could have did it. You know, if that's the case, then what, that just undermines everything that the, the Order did. Like, them, them selecting Having younglings come to the temple, hell, anybody could have did it. But 
I mean, I guess I guess there's more to it, but it like you brought up a good point that I didn't really think of at the time was right. Like he had this conversation with George Lucas and, and you can't have like you said, you can't have it both ways. You can't say, well, <laughs> he totally hey, listen, he going against what George saying. No, he's not. This dude is totally in tune with what George wanted and what his wishes were and what he and how he understood Star Wars. Maybe not 100 percent. You know, I don't think they agreed on everything, but I don't think he would go against what George set in place or what George, how George understood the force. So I agree with you that it's, it, they probably did have a conversation. Yeah, that's, that's tough. It's tough. And, and but, but, but like you said, I hope my hope is that because and again, I say this, the reason I say that I this is why I got hope that it's not what we think it is, is because they showing us to us so early. I do hold out hope that we're kind of because we're seeing her trying to move a damn cup so early that it's not really about that. That is something else that. here that we're we're not we've yet to see, and that it's meant to teach Ahsoka a lesson. Man, like it's got, really man, that's, what I, that's what I got. Yeah, that's what I Cause got. Because she, cause she's, got so, cause she's, she's so because she's so like she's so uh, confident that she's like, oh no, you can do it. No, hey, listen, it's just about talent, which I would line. I really hate it. <laughs> like this yeah, idea yeah. that you just, oh, no, some are just more talented than others. Like, wait a minute. Hold on now. No, hold on. No. Hold on. Because if that's the case, then shit, Obi-Wan would have been like, hey, Han, go ahead, try it. You, you put the, you, you put the, <laughs> the, the blast shield on. You you put the helmet yeah. on. You yeah. try it out if you don't believe it. Because he challenged him in the, in, the, in, the, in the original, in the New Hope, like, I've seen a lot of things in this guy. What was his line? <laughs> a lot of hokey like religion, or whatever it's not. Whatever it's, <laughs> I can't remember the yeah, line. But... Hokey religion, though. He did, the yeah, line that he, liked the he did say religion. something like that. I, I think he said something about that. So, so, but, but you get my point is, well, shit, if Obi Wan understood the force that way, he would immediately got Leia to do it. Like, Leia, you too. And, and, and yeah. wouldn't have had to tell her that they related. Just be like, no, 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 try this. You know, it's like, I it just, it's just, I don't know. It just, it kind of de. It, it, it's, 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 it's a problem with Star Wars. It's a problem that's been happening with Star Wars. Even going back, it, something that I, I didn't complain about as much, but people even complained about with the with the prequels is this is sort of demystifying of. Star Wars, whereas like things become less and less mystical, yeah, you know, uh, over time because they're showing you so much. And now you're telling me that, oh, no, 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 anybody can be a Jedi. Anybody, you implying that, yeah, 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 you just have, you know, just some people are more talented, you know, it's like, wait a minute, no, no, no. I, I've always had the idea that you got to be chosen. That they gotta yeah. find you, and they gotta, and they, and they take you from your family to protect, you know, protect everybody. You know, like oh, okay, yeah, your kid is showing some force sensitivity. We need to go ahead, and we, he needs to go to the temple immediately. Like that's always been my thing. But this idea that you could just find anybody and just be like, oh, hey, you gotta, you know, you got some talent. Try this. Try to move this cup. So again, man, uh, you know, not to be too long winded. I, I, I yeah. basically, I agree with you. Man. Well, let me read this line. I hope she don't move that cup. Up. Well, to that point, let me read this line that I, I kind of wrote. I wanted to make sure I had this thought down because I think one of the things that's happening with with with, with the Soka is she's actually still going about it in a dogmatic way because she don't know another way mm. outside of like she don't know mm. like like and you know I give Obi a hard time right, but like. The yeah, way the way Obi had to try to even talk to Luke, he had to like get he had to like do it on about on the on the seat of his pants, right? <laughs> right, like that wasn't the what he was doing. Maybe in um, let me change let me change that back because I don't even want to say that that was about to be wrong because Anakin wouldn't even let him be the dogmatic teacher that he probably wanted to be. We got that really from the Clone Wars, right? Mm -hmm. He couldn't be the dog because they was doing the wildest stuff. Right, oh, yeah. him and Anakin right. was doing him, Anakin and, and, and Ahsoka was doing wild stuff, right? They wasn't doing yeah. with uh way outside of protocol, doing, right? Yeah, yeah, they was always outside of protocol. Like Obi Obi didn't want to be, but he had to be sometimes to survive. Like, okay, I say all that to say 
one of the, one of the things that I had I, I wrote when I was watching this, I was like, um, when I say there, I, I mean Filoni, but they're using the Jedi philosophy not to make Sabine a Jedi, but to make Sabine Sabine, right? Ahsoka even says it. I don't need Sabine to be a Jedi. I just mm. need her to be Sabine. But she through this, Ahsoka is rediscovering her Jedi lineage with of what it means to be the Jedi because now she's the teacher. Pass on what you have learned. And she's mm. learned from a long line of unconventional Jedi. So this traditional yes. way of teaching is not even the way she was taught. We can, and I put a note that we can even see a slight change in her when they were doing the dog fight, where she had to learn kind of like how to adjust to Sabine that is trying to just tell her like some, some <laughs> jet, you know, some, some dogmatic Jedi stuff that she never really got. So she be a, she's not probably even the best teacher to try to teach that way because she never got it. Obviously, she went on the side sometimes. She had them side quests with like my member, she lost her saber. And my man mm -hmm. was trying to give her some lessons. They always try to teach Ahsoka, like, we got to talk. We got to show her this way because she's so headstrong, right? Like, slow mm -hmm. down, Ahsoka. My, you know, my man with the, the older guy <laughs> with the cane, he had to get yeah, her to slow yeah, down. Uh, so she, yeah. Kind of clues. And then um, sometimes she was with different different masters. Uh, Lumin not Luminar, but uh, the one that was, uh, uh, what was her name? Uh, the one that was cute, the, the Twilight one. Uh, uh, remember when Anakin one, got hurt? The one that got gunned down in um, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, the one that got gunned down in Felucia, right? Felucia. Ah, Felucia. What was her name? God, why am I Let's start with an A. Oh, it's two A's. A yellow. She was, yeah, she wasn't even like in She wasn't even wearing like Jedi robes. She was just oh, straight up. She had the oh, belly oh, out and everything. <laughs> Stomach yeah, was yeah, out. She was, abs. Showing, yeah, she was showing. Yeah, she was she showing was, that she was work. Stinger, yeah, uh, she was showing uh, work, right? But uh, when when you know she was giving giving Ahsoka different lessons because of how Ahsoka was, they were trying to talk to her about attachments because. Anakin was hurt, right? You might have to let him go, that kind of stuff. But then they had to kind of work with Ahsoka. My point is, was she to me? Was she? I think, and I'm, I'm saying I'm thinking. I don't want to like put put what I what I my own vision in the what Filoni's actually showing us. But I feel like that's what he like. Um, like she's going about it one way, and it's not only she going about it in the, the, the a way that she never got it. She's going about it with another, another unconventional Padawan. Like this ain't gonna work with her, <laughs> right? Mm. Right. And 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 she's coming to grips about like about about the because they talking about they just kind of like Filoni. I feel like that's what the fleet to me. That's what Filoni is giving us being on top of the force conversation. He's giving us what it means to be a Jedi. Right. And we talked about that last yeah. episode. We said that like it's something that yeah. Ahsoka got. To, and I feel like he that that's just getting reiterated. Like like. Yeah, because she, 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 she keep bringing up Jedi that, that yeah. she is apparently or. "Quote unquote" yeah. is not one, right? She's not a Jedi, and she's trying to train somebody on what it means to be one. They're probably going about it the wrong way. You, I, I think you're right. I, I agree with you. Um, yeah, because she 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 keeps she keeps bringing up the fact that Anakin never finished with her. Anakin mm -hmm. never was able to finish her training, and it's almost like, she, you know, it seems like, like I think they might be going in that direction where she's gonna like through <laughs> through being a teacher, she's yeah. gonna get the she's gonna get what she. Out of out of teaching, she's gonna get what she didn't get with Anakin, because it is a it is a sizable gap in her training. You know, she just kind of got hundred percent. She became she like still, a, she, yeah. she was still little. Yeah. yeah, she was still a kid. Like you know, she wasn't like a like a little kid, but she was still very young. She was still, still a pat, like very a much a pat one. Yeah, and who um who couldn't um get over the fact that they had uh. A, you know that she, you know, they had accused her of doing all these, you know, doing all this stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah, man, that's a good point, man. That's that's, man, we came to the sea. We ain't even talk about this. We ain't, we ain't. See <laughs> that's why, I like, I think we should do this more. Like, if it's like, yeah, that's if what, it's yeah, hot, yeah. we got, we yeah, got to get, we got to sit now because, yeah, that's why, that's what I'm saying. I want to get my thoughts out immediately because I was like, man, this, 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 this episode, bro, just brought everything to. You know what I mean, like, and, but and again, that, you know, moment of clarity. You're right, man. Yeah. I, mean, I want to lose this point that you said. Let's go back to what you just said about through teaching. Um, Ahsoka end up getting what she didn't, what didn't get to finish. Guess what? Who else got that? That's what happened with Kanan. Mm. Exactly what happened with Kanan. And, 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 and facts, facts. Dealing with and dealing with Ezra, <sighs> she got he got what he didn't get to get from uh De Debalaba. He didn't get to yeah. finish that from her. He was way younger. And that's the thing, right? And that's the thing, right? Because they always talk about, okay, we know 
Sabine's last scene mirrors uh, Ezra's first scene in, in, in Rebels, right? When he's sitting, she's standing there on the ledge and she see the ship fly over her head. He see the Empire come in. She see the New Republic pretty much come in, right? So in a lot of ways, she reliving his life. But yeah, where I think Filoni, I, I would be very, I ain't going to say I'd be surprised. I'd be very surprised. I would be somewhat surprised if she becomes a Jedi, a conventional Absolutely. Jedi. Like, cause that would be wild for him to just retell the same story. Cause he's doing that. Mm -hmm. He, she, she looked over. Uh, Ezra looked up shit, that shit fly over his head. The next thing you knew, man, he was, he was, he was off to the, you know, he was meeting, uh, Kanan. Kanan, he found out Kanan was a Jedi. Kanan found out he had some force sensitivity. They was training, you know, y'all even so on. So it'd be wild for them to just rewrite the same story. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think somewhat Filoni wants us to believe that. But I I, I do expect them to subvert our expectations and, and be like, no, that's not, that's she's not going to be a Jedi. She's something else. But you're right, man. That's a great point. That Kanan is that Kanan did that. Kanan finished his training because Kanan got man. You want to talk about? He was worse than, than Ahsoka. He lost his yeah. uh, master when he was a kid. Like he was like a young one. Yeah, you know he was a young one. You know, yeah, he, was so, still, he was little. Like he basically yeah. was a young one. He was salty he too, was, boy. He was scared. Oh, like he was man. man. He, he didn't even want to go with the bad batch. He looking at them like <laughs> man. He want nothing to do with the bad batch. Kanan was Kanan had a lot of like. Man, we'll talk about that's just that's another discussion, man. You want to talk about you somebody you surprised didn't go down a dark path? Man, Kane yeah. had a lot of fear, anger, resentment. Yeah, you know, but that's another story. But but yeah, man, he um, he'd have been, been prime to be an inquisitor. Oh man, they could if they would have got him. He would somebody man. You would think, you would Vader would have been, been very yeah. yeah. Vader would have would have elevated him. Like you know what? I sense a lot of fear in you. You know what I mean? A yeah. lot of anger. Go ahead and get you on a team, you know. Luckily for him, you know, he hid. Say, you know, but that's just yeah. But, Apparently, it's a lot of younglings that, out there, but that's another that's another conversation. My bad. And and you're hundred percent right. Yeah, I think that's where we're gonna end up at the end of this season, like when we do like a post mortem, is like we're gonna have to talk about um and it's felony, right? How many so, how many people we keep we keep man, running up? Chill on, out, right? yeah. <laughs> Calm I mean, down. Running up on like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, Loney, chill these, out. How many people we running up on that 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 that, that may honestly, yeah, it was ten thousand Jedi, you know, at some, you know, some of them gone, but damn, <laughs> like we talking like post Jedi, right? <laughs> like post return of the Jedi, we still running up on some, right? Um, uh, I say I like to say that's a lot of we got out of out of like this the first like six minutes of the show. <laughs> 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 Literally, man. <laughs> I'm just thinking that there's a lot the that we got like out. We ain't even got to our life yet. We ain't even got to our life yet. When we get back into it, like I said, we had that that moment, the the, the beginning of the episode. When we get let's get, let's get back the, into it. We, we can get back in. Yeah, when we get we we yeah. get into the the uh, the uh, the meat of the episode, we start off with uh we get we we meet back up with Hera, right? And now she's about to talk to the New Republic because they're trying to get some. They're trying to meet up with Ahsoka and meet up with um, Ahsoka and Sabine because they're about to go to I forget the name of the planet, but they're trying to they they they've been able to track where this um hyper hyperspace rig, this very an, enormous one is. Um, um Man. they're trying to get there and they was going they're trying to get some uh, obviously have some help get a fleet, um and Harry trying to make her case and it just again Filoni and everybody letting us know how bad the new republic is right mm, and to the point where had to call them out man i got yo they so bad but go ahead my bad finish what you said no I'll, I'll no no they so no you can go i'm just saying it's 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 it's, it's, it's blatant how bad they are like I, I enjoyed that line like i enjoyed that line where, where Hera was like was she basically asked him was <laughs> uh was he outside like did you yeah. fight anyone? <laughs> You you fight and he just man, he just he ain't got nothing. He just sit there like, yeah. So she like, she, she, she pulled his car. She, she I ain't never watched car, the resistance. Yeah. That, that little cartoon. Uh, I yeah. think I was like I watched like half of the. But one thing I do know is that that he's the father of the 
the kind of the main pilot that we follow through. And if we if you finish the cartoon, he's the oh, wow. he's the father of the main pilot. Okay. And it's already the little bit I watch. It's evident that his father is tough, kind of a stick in the mud, kind of a jerk. Yeah. Right, in so yeah. many ways. Yeah, you see that. And yeah. we seeing that uh, massively with this actor, because um, I believed him. Like there was parts of what he was saying, I'm like, damn, that's sting. But you know, he was saying that shit to try to try to cut deep. Like you just trying to, you, hey, this is another attempt for you to get resources so you can go find Ezra Bridger. You keep trying to do. We don't know how many times Harrod and tried to do that, right? We don't know. That's that. what it seems to be. Right. Yeah, it seems to be a history yeah. here, man. That we don't really yeah. know about. Man, but the you right, man. The new republic is the worst. Hey man, it was so bad that I found myself almost rooting for the Empire to come back. <laughs> like I was literally sitting there, like, I kind of want the Empire to come back, man, just because they so smug. Like yeah. it's so much, it's such a level of hubris at work here. Yeah. That is it's it's laughably bad like it's just it's yeah. like it's like there's no way you could you could be this this dumb like this this stupid like it's just no way you can be this arrogant like and but it but again feloni puts that like you said feloni puts it in there that pause but feloni put it in there that <laughs> <laughs> feloni makes sure that we understand that this is somebody who didn't fight in the war it, it seems to be like there was just people Damn, waiting on the sidelines for, week. for yeah, like it just seems play. like no, no, no. I'm just saying, but it just seemed like it was people on the sidelines just waiting to see how things played out, and we kind of see yeah. this even going back to Andor, which, yes. by the way, this version of uh, Mon and Andor Mon seemed like it's two different people. I'm sorry, like it yeah. just it was yeah. weird. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it was definitely way more Rebels version, you know. But uh, mm-hmm. with that said, but uh, my point is, it just seems like there was people on the sideline, like, just waiting, you know, to see how things turned out. Like, they didn't really – they really were not for the Empire, but they also wasn't rah-rah for the re- rebellion either. They just kind of just waiting to – and, and, to, and not going to say, let's go back to – let's go back to the Mandalorian ep- – the Andor episode of Mandalorian, right? Mm-hmm. Um, remember oh, when they first was talking to the talking to the doctor? And he was like, rebels, vampire, it's all to say, like, you know, whoever it, yep. whoever was gonna win, we we was we was good regardless. Like I was going yep. like like and that's and Harry called it out, like, so you didn't you didn't you wasn't did you fight in the war or you just sat back on the sidelines and waiting to see who win, who won? Right. You're just waiting to see who won, and that's where the, the direction you were gonna go. Yeah, 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 I just I couldn't believe it, man. I'm just watching it like, yo, man, I kinda want the Empire to come back. Like yeah, they need just to see how they need to run a wreck shit. Yeah, because because Thrawn would never be like even Thrawn, like as evil as he is, he would never be this like just this this um this stupid. You know, it, <laughs> like Thrawn would have a better plan like than whatever the hell the New Republic is doing. Because they they just I don't know, man. And may and I, like, like part of me was thinking like. Is there a is there a plot here? Like, is there like a um, should I say like is there some some sort of uh, you know what I mean? Like, is there some subversion here? Is is there subterfuge? I should say like like are they doing this purposely? <laughs> like, are yeah, they trying yeah. to you know? Are they just are like, they really just from the inside? Yeah, yeah. Like, are they trying to do this? But nah, man. Like you said, old boy even tried to come in and give like. Give Ezra's like some backhand props, like, oh yeah, I'm sure that you know the hero. Ezra yeah, 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 yeah. Like, That's when he really he tried really? to stay. Yeah, he's dead too. Fam, that, he really that shook try up, to put that shook out up there. here. That shook yeah. up here though. You don't know that some shit, whatever her little line was, but but let, let me ask you this real quick about this. My go ahead. Man, I, go before ahead. before no, we no, no, go ahead. before we continue, do you feel like because that part of me was like because we always ask the question like man. Is this gonna be a continuation of Rebels? Or is this 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 you know what I mean? Like which what are we getting here? Are we getting Rebels season five or are we getting Ahsoka? Cause it felt like Hera got like this is where her I, I'm pretty sure she's gonna pop up again, but it, it almost yeah, it yeah. almost felt like he uh, 
wrote her out, like not wrote her out of the show, but he kind of like if she was gonna come in, this would have been like all right, then you would have been like okay, because you you see you see you see the uh, you see young Jason, yeah. This is the part where Hera would come in, like, all right, I'm, I'm coming with the fleet. But it's almost like he sidelined her with this episode. Yeah. Like, I'm actually going, I'm actually, this actually, for me, fits more in with Hera. Like, early mm-hmm. season one mm-hmm. and season two Hera, where right. she was still about the protocol mm-hmm. until they ultimately did something. And once her team did something, then she had her teams back. Right. So there was times where they they wasn't hell when even when they went to season one, when they went back to rescue Kanan. Ahsoka, yeah. a.k.a. Fulcrum, told her not to do it. Right. And that's wow. when that's when Ezra and, 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 and uh, Ezra Sabine and um, um, Zeb um, um, went and put in work. Right. So like they, they went and then and then and then. Ezra Sabine and um, like I say, Zeb went and tried to get some information they could so they can go ahead and save because Kanan was about to go to um, he was about to go to Mustafar, right? So they needed before they we knew Vader was showing up, but we knew Vader was showing up. <laughs> I say all that to say this this right here is consistent with early um, um, early Rebels. What I what well, this is what I'm thinking because uh, we've seen it in the trailer too. She said the line once a rebel, always a rebel, so we know. Yeah. We know that's going to happen. Yes. Yeah, and that's how they're going to get to wherever they need to get to go to. Right. I actually I don't want to get into the theory yet. But what yeah, I, we'll one, thing, that. We'll the, one thing I think is going to happen with the setting up, and, and we get into later into the episode. I think after this, whatever happened in episode four, they're going to have to go back. Right. They're going to team up. It's going to be just like that. It's going to be a team up event because they're going to have to, wherever they're going to go and get through. To get to Ezra and or whatever that other side, they're gonna go through in the ghost. Right. I think they're gonna mm. go through the ghost. But she just gets she definitely got sidelined. But this is back where they're gonna yeah. get to the point where we team up. Now, who all gonna be part of the team up? Whether we get Zeb and all this and all that, hopefully, but it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Fact is they're gonna have to go back because they ship, they, they ship not gonna make this ship that they got right now, not gonna make the journey. Right. They got they got problems, right? We can we can talk about later in the episode. But that's what I to, to, for me just to your point for me yes yeah, she got sideline but this was more concerned her doing this and she right now she committed to the new republic she's a was what's her rank in general she committed to that and she gonna follow protocol she gonna follow this but then at some point in time it's gonna kick in that look we we can go do this we already know and then she gonna she gonna be she gonna what I'm what I'm with this setting up again <laughs> and what this is setting up maybe it's a whole Mandalverse thing. But as we looking at the New Republic, they setting up another rebellion, a band, more or less a band of rebels that have to save. The That's band. what it sounds like, yeah. Who got who got to who got to save the New Republic from themselves? Got to save the New Republic from themselves, only for wow. it to happen again and then turn into the resistance. If they stay with this current, if you know if they don't stay in, a, in the new the new galaxy, if they actually stay in this, at the end of the day, for this New Republic, it's just gonna fall in the same trap again, and then. Need to get get saved by the but only this republic is gonna get blown up and, and, and force awakens right, but yeah. uh, meaning you know Hosnian Prime, but yeah. uh, that's what it's for me. This is setting up as a band of rebels who've already been rebels before. It's gonna have to rebel yeah. up again, rebel again, <laughs> rebel up, whatever the correct term is. Long with the way to get to that point, my bad. Nah, that's uh, nah, man, that's perfect, man. Um, would you? <laughs> so we see young, and I brought this up. I, I mentioned this. We saw young Jason Sadula. Seen Jason Sindula. Yeah. <laughs> or am I met well, no. is this in, Yeah, he's Sindula. Yeah, he's Sindula. He's Sindula. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, Sindula, yeah. yeah. Um what you think of what you think of that, man? Because I felt like they kind of made a point to be like to to make sure we saw that he was like, I want to be a Jedi. Yeah. I want to be a Jedi one day. And he was just like, it, I know you do. Nothing was more um it, it may mean something. But if nothing more was just like a okay, here here's this, because I I don't think that plays a part in anything else going forward. I think that okay. was just like if anything was mostly a gift for people who you know rebels fans and all this and all that. That was that. I, we I, got Jason. See, we on opposite sides. I think it, I think it play a part. Okay. <laughs> I oh, think it means shit. something. Yeah, I okay. think Jason gonna be doing something. Yeah, I think they made sure that we saw and, that in this in this season. 
or or no nah, future nah, not in this mean, so, well no no okay down the line down the line i think uh, okay he either gonna, he gonna be in luke school or or uh whatever dave filoni again we can talk about this in a minute but dave filoni's grand plans of this other galaxy and time oh, being oh, so I was talking yeah. about this season. Okay, we want to go there. <laughs> yeah. Can, yeah, yeah, I was saying he out. Uh, out yeah. for let me let me season. clarify. Let me clarify. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Down yeah. the line, I think that means oh, something. Yo, do I, oh. do I, no, do I think it means something for this season? No, I don't. I, I agree with you on that. But uh long term, I think it definitely means something. I think Jace is gonna be a Jedi. He's obviously gonna be force sensitive. Yes. Um he got green hair, man. Like he <laughs> too about to play a part on. He not gonna he not just gonna be out there, man. Like he's gonna do something. So we'll see. Uh he at the age, bro, where he can, you know, he's he young enough right? to be around. For, yeah, he, he young enough to be around for some stuff. So um whenever whatever they decide to do with Luke, I think he plays a part in that eventually, somehow. But again, we got other theories too that we're gonna get to, man, about Filoni's grand grand plans. But uh, but yeah, man, let's continue on, man. So more with uh more the episode here, man. Like you were saying, she's trying to get she's trying to get a, a fleet together. And uh they you know they shut her down, man. They sideline yeah. her. Yeah, and uh, she's just following the protocol, so she kind of sidelines herself. Yeah. And she she break the news to Ahsoka and uh you know Sabine I feel like Sabine took it more of like damn, yeah man, really? like you know all the stuff what you, you, what you did? think of that that's what I'm, no now for Sabine part I'm like Sabine like hold on what yeah she she, what? she she yeah she hated like wait a minute what you know what we done <laughs> you know all the stuff we did <laughs> fleet fleet me like these people will follow <laughs> you like do something yeah. Like we don't yeah, know it's what, wild that it's, it's, the, it's just wild that they stuff. can't get that they can't get a damn fleet. That's just that's crazy. Yeah, There's at least a couple like you would think. Now again, we don't know. Uh, not you know, we can go into the whole off screen this, that, and the third. We don't know how many times they did this or did that. But I can't imagine they was able to do much other than just like research and scouting, right? I can't believe I can't imagine right. they had enough whispers yeah. to be able to like, okay, we think Ezra here, or we think Ezra's there, right? Like all they could do is try to remember. I don't know if you remember the finale of. Um, finale of rebels but the original thing that she wanted to do was try to um try to map out some uh, flight paths like the possible the possible flight paths that they may have took right and then that's when the hologram yeah. came up of uh, ezra saying like look i had to do a b c and d right Damn. the one that you know we we, we seen it showing up in this episode i mean showing up in the season yeah. but yeah. so that 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 seemed like the extent of what they could have done right they they can't just go like the you know what let's go to Tatooine and see if we can let's nah. send a, let's send a fleet to Tatooine. She just probably had right, like right. It's only so like, much they can like work on fast. Yeah, so that's that's something like it. See, even if she asked for ten, um, ten of the most smart people that they had, most intelligent people to try to look that up, that can't that can't be a resource drainer. That would just seem like some bullshit that some um something that dude just wanted to throw in her face, right? Right. Yeah, like, you, you got. Yeah, you got to factor in also like the just the, the trilogy, the original trilogy. They had to fight a war, like yeah, you know what I mean. And then, and then one like Ahsoka was there waiting, you know what I mean. Ahsoka apparently was out of the picture, like so. Mm-hmm. It was, they had nothing to really. They had no threat. Oh yeah, they had like four or five more years of actual war, like the Civil War yeah. started after. after yeah, that the was the start. Yeah, that was just saving, <laughs> liberating the thaw. You yeah. know, but Scarif hadn't even whole, happened yet. Yeah, yeah, they had a lot that you know that they had to do. So I think they said the battle of Scarif was like two months after the battle of Lothal. Like from a timeline Damn. standpoint, so I'm saying like they still was, was early. On the front lines. Yeah, she was on the front lines, boy. Whew. So we ain't even got to to end the battle of uh, Endor or the battle of Jakku. Yeah, we got to yeah, we ain't even got, yeah, ain't even got through the first five yeah, years we, away. We ain't got through the first Death Star until you know I'm talking yeah, about exactly uh, at that <laughs> exactly. moment. So. So they, they got to destroy a Death Star. First of all, they had they, they had to discover a Death Star, discover destroy it. it, then lose to the basically take all these these L's to the uh, Empire, <laughs> losing a base on Halt and all this stuff. You know what I mean? Just yeah. wild stuff, just completely getting blown out. Yeah. Then <laughs> come get, back they get, and, they and, and they, they getting yeah, they was getting yeah, they was getting the, yeah, they was getting demolished, and then then finally have to come back and uh. Like you said, the battle of Endor and, and blowing up the um 
second death. The shield, you know, taking down the shields for the second Death Star and all that, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's yeah, it's a lot. You know, what I mean, it's a lot of me. So it was, yeah, it was no way. She was sitting there like, "Hey, we gotta find Ezra." Even if she wanted to do that, no, it was nobody was that was gonna be there that was gonna like, sit, "Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, just do that." And like, no, 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 no. We in the middle of a war. We don't even know we gonna win. Like it's <laughs> it's another Death Star being say. built. We might not win this war. And even think about like after after let's say like after. Oh, uh, ba- after Battle of Endor, right after the second Death Star is blown up, who could tell her no from a resource standpoint? They only—they're not even established yet, right? It's still a, they they get they getting the New Republic together, right? But it's like if she wanted to go do that, she can go do that, right? Like she can go get some people, that's, yeah. but they can only scout and they can only try to plot out different courses, right? Um, it. So it's, it can't be to work that many it. attempts. Yeah. Whatever it was, it was one too many for for my man's liking. <laughs> And then the, then the other yeah. senator was doing that talk. Pardon me. He was doing that talk like, "Hey, the empires, empires no more." That's weird too, for the, for them to be that, um, for them to be that, you know, kind of like um, nonchalant yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, to be like uh, passive about it, where it's like, where it's like, um, not only because they like, okay, cool, we just had this info, we just had, um, we just had this situation with, um. On a Corellia, right? Dead Moon. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was just a one off. Hey, we just yeah. had Moff Gideon. That's a one off. You know, Moff Gideon escaped. <laughs> oh, that's a one off. How many freaking one offs do you need? One-offs. Before you Moff realize, Gideon man, there's a problem. Man, y'all know he was cloning, right? Y'all know he yeah. was cloning. Grow and it, it's the way, they, the way they, it's not it's just that, and I don't, not only that, it's like the way that they treat the, 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 the Empire remnant. They, they kind of like, they like it's like they little brother or something. Like they just like, oh man, they can't do nothing. They oh yeah, they out there, man, but they can't they, they can't do nothing with us. Like they, oh so what? Like, yeah, so what Moff Gideon had uh, yeah, whatever. Like, like they just they so they so they so on the, the side of like where they feel like they got they got the, like the bigger gun, you know, they got the more they got more wet more resources. Yeah, they, they just don't now. see the empire, what's left of the empire is a threat. They and they all, you know. It's just so it's a weird dynamic, man. It's a weird man. Even going back looking at that first episode, how just this captain, man, <laughs> that was just so bad. Like just this, this, this <laughs> idea. That just, oh, well, yeah, I'm gonna call her bluff. Yeah. Okay, like it, they they were more worried about the Trade Federation in the <laughs> back in the day than they are the <laughs> Imperial Remnant. <laughs> You know, uh, Trey, damn, man, it's damn Trey Federation. Oh my god, yo, the Viceroy was a problem. <laughs> uh, like, what do you mean? What, what do you the, mean? What oh, the they scramble, oh, they scrambling. Oh, that can only mean one thing. They knew right away. Oh, that's a, that's a that's an invasion. Like they scrambling invasion. our, yeah, they blocking our signal, man. I mean, they invasion. They invading. They got a blockade already set up. They invading. Like they knew right away. Imperial remnant it was oh, a problem. Just, it's just that's just trash. And then you know, it, even when he presented with the news, like, oh, no, I think they're trying to bring back Thrawn. Well, hey, Thrawn's – he's dead. And, so, and, and, I, and I know they portraying uh, Mon uh, – honestly, because oh, I was kind of like that in Rebels. This was like – you, but you said it earlier. This is more like Rebels, Ron. This is not – this is not um, Andor – Andor – and Thrawn. It's not Andor, Mon um, Yeah. And even a little bit like there's parts, uh, you know, in even in Rebels that uh, Saul Guerrero had to like re, re- let her know about herself because she wasn't, they yeah. feel like she wasn't doing enough. And then even in Rogue One, where she really wasn't ready, she was happy that the, that, the, that 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 Rogue One crew went and left for Scarif because that was the only way they was going to be able to get their pilots to go, right? Once they found out, but like, but she wasn't going to send, she wasn't going to send nobody there. Right, she wasn't gonna mm-hmm. even send nobody there in Rogue One, right? So, but like, like seeing that it, it made me mad, right? That's messed up. Like it's just characters and shit. But I was mad, <laughs> like, damn, man, you was. Cause you know my thing is, I'm like, damn, man, you. They saved you in Rebels, like, yeah. like Thrawn had you. That's what you when they said Thrawn, they panned to her. Cause remember, Thrawn was trying to capture you and get you up out of here when you said yeah. your line about what they were doing to the to the to the Gormans, whatever her mm-hmm. line is that she initially says, but like. Like she 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 said and she said her things about Palpatine and the Emperor. Thrawn had her. Man, Hera got you up out of there. 
You had to help yeah, chopper yeah. try uh, try to detach the 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 gas situation, the fuel lock, so y'all can go ahead and detach, so y'all can go. And she got you through that nebula, right? Yeah. And you can't even you you can't like you oh, know man, she Thrawn, swallowed her Thrawn tongue, man. Get you. Yeah. Thrawn, Thrawn just... was trying to get you. She ain't had nothing. She ain't say nothing. She, she had just... nothing. I was salty at mom for that. Long. Hey yo, B, mom let me down, bro. <laughs> yeah, mom let me big down time, right big there, time. Man. I'm like, she, hey, she, say let her down. she let me down. Like, you say gotta do something. something. You gotta, you, you gotta hologram her. Like, when everybody leave, like, when you know, like Yoda did with Ahsoka, like, you got a hologram when everybody leave. Like, look, there's a couple of people yeah. in such and such. I can get you, you neck with them. We'll get you a little situation. Y'all show up there. She ain't even do that. She ain't even do that, man. She, she, she went back. You know what? She, she almost she looks like she's reverted back to before the mom mount that we really didn't see that was an end or before she decided to help out <laughs> your boy. Like she probably back to that. Like I'm just yeah, I'm just a you know, rich woman on the Senate, you know, just come from yeah. a good family. And I just wanna, you know, I just want the galaxy to change and all this stuff. Like she's not she seems to have lost something, you know, since her uh, many bottoms have died. You know, she yeah. she she yeah. lost she she many bottoms have died. She she lost that that uh whatever that is, and I think I think uh, it's just weird, man. It's if weird. Man. It's should like know that the five Empire years is all it took it for them to hurt. just be this comfortable. It's just weird. Exactly. If anybody should know that the Empire is still possibly a threat, they should, the one was it the lady or then it was the guy yeah. who said. Hey, well, like, hey, yes, we have many Imperial, um, and all of them have taken an oath. It's like, are you serious? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. all you got to do is, I swear I won't ever. <laughs> yeah, you got to get an oath. Like, that's wild. Like, like all right, you just got to give up. Yeah, I'll just, yes, I'm, I'll take an oath that I'll never <laughs> serve the Empire again. It's like, hey, yo, do you know who these people are? These people swore oath to the Emperor. <laughs> yeah. The New Republic trash. Like, I don't, there's nothing. That's crazy, right? There's nothing to like about um, the New Republic. So uh, it made me, the, this next scene made me remind, reminded me a little bit. And, and it had no inkling on New Hope, but it made me think when they pulled up on the, uh, when they pulled up on that planet, um, um, I had to get the name of that planet, but when they pull up on that planet, and then they see that big uh, hyper when uh, uh, my man Hu Yang talking to him and they, they see it as a uh, big hyperspace ring. Yeah. And maybe yeah. thinking when Obi was like, that's no more. <laughs> right. When he see, man, when he seen the Death much. Star was like, yeah. Oh, no, nah, you, you right on the money. That's almost no, how they rolled up on it. Just my yeah. mind. That's where my mind oh, the whole, went, the whole, right? the whole setup was New Republic. B. I mean, a new, a new Republic. The whole setup is New Hope. Right. Because. Yeah. They're on the ships. They're They're training. <laughs> She put a blast shield over her eyes, like like Luke, like uh, Obi did. Luke, there's doubts. <laughs> You're there's right. this conversation You're right. about the force. Yeah, and then they finally get to their destination, and is I mean, because Ahsoka, you know, she she two words at a time on everything, pretty much. It's the droid that says like, hmm. <laughs> "What was his line? What was what he say?" <laughs> uh, yeah, because he see the hyperspace ring, which, by the way. The scale of that is that that's yeah man like how, how did y'all build that <laughs> like yeah. again let's go this 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 fall back on the new republic man like y'all just well y'all just got even though I think it's really it's far out like where they at um, I forgot they the had to steal all those they had to steal all those damn hyper <laughs> hyperspace uh, yeah, they uh did, cores they, they, what shit. they say is like six of them nine of them it's a certain amount of them it's they, five they, they got, got five they need one more. Yeah, no, the last one is showing up. They, 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 I think it's one more yeah. in place. But as we, like you say, when we get there, now we now we get into the the we get into the to the space dog fight, right? The space dog fight of it all, which is a big but, majority uh, of the episode. At this, yeah. that's it's, like, it's like a long fight. It's a, yeah, it's a long fight. That's basically the episode. <laughs> like we talk for we talk for over almost an hour off the first six minutes, right? Yeah. But the remainder twenty four minutes of the episode was basically this dog fight. And again, it feel like an homage to a new hope. Like, don't get cocky. Yeah. Good kid. I got one. Good kid. Good kid. Don't get cocky. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. It, like he's doing that. He's, he's, he's clearly paying an homage to George Lucas. Right? Like I don't maybe I don't think I don't I don't I don't think the whole entire show is gonna be like this. 
But this no. episode was like, thank you, George Lucas, for a new hope. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah. That's what this episode was about. Was like, homage the the homage to George Lucas. So it's like, which is kind of weird. Again, now I sound like I'm nitpicking. But I'm, but I'm talking about like Sabine was kind of that's like man, man you've been in fights before like what? <laughs> like yeah, I got one that's, and that's but when you, like, yeah. you brought up a good point earlier though hit nothing right like no you brought it yeah you got up you brought up a great point though when you said that it was it wasn't really about that because I'm making I'm making it like that but it's not really about that it's really about it was a soga <laughs> mm. soga trying to do things you know. She's so dogmatic. She's like, oh, no, no, Drake. She even called it, you know, who, who ain't call it out. Uh, now I'm messing up his name. Um, oh, yeah. Who Yang called it out like standard dread eye procedure. And, yeah. you know, and Soka, like, throw that out there. But then uh, Sabine, like, no, nah, just hey, let me. And she finally, like, Soka finally say, like, all right, all right, all right, Sabine, tell me what you need me to do. <laughs> what do you yeah. need me to do? And when she does do. what Sabine asked her to do, Sabine is able to start taking down these ships. Yep. So, to, uh, yeah. you know, to uh, piggyback off your point you made earlier, is yeah, it but, really it, but about at first, but at first it was like that. But at first it was like, I'm like, oh, come on, man, like, come on, man, Sabine hitting all that, like Sabine yeah, come on. hitting everything, Sabine. right? Sabine, like, what are yeah. we, what are we doing? Because Sabine was again, I always say it all the time. Sabine was cold, right? She yeah. wasn't, she was cold, nothing. She didn't have a problem with. So for yeah. uh, for her, like, especially when it came to like any any weaponry. Any kind of uh, any tactics, any hell, she would have. She would have plans. She could pull up your schematic, like so. You know, it's seventeen floors on here. She just pulled up on the Mandalorian armor, right? Like she had it all. So for her to it, yeah. be be off her, be off her dean, be off her square so much, but that just uh, I would imagine she's probably like that around Ahsoka, for the way Ahsoka is probably. Um, uh, yeah, but I I can see that being the problem. Um, when they were going through their training. Nah, I'm with you. Um, yeah, that was kind of weird. Like, all right, why is she so off? But then, you know, they adjust. She started taking down ships. Um, was it just me or was it like confusing at first? Like, because I'm like, all right, I see I see Merrick and I see uh, damn, what's her name again? Shen. Shen, Shen. Um, Shen. Yeah, Shen. And I'm like, it's Who's who? Like you know, I'm like she took down some ships, and it, I know it was like some droids, some 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 of her mercenaries, you know, working in the ship. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that was kind of throwing me off at first. Like, all right, who is she taking out exactly? You know, I know she's not hitting Shin, and she's not hitting Merrick. But uh, yeah, they had them. Them they was just look what they say, cannon fire. They literally yeah, they was just cannon fire. You knew they was going down. Yeah, you was like, all right, them yeah, the ones. Once it was more down. than them two. The, the, yeah. the other ones was going down, right? They was going when down. Ahsoka got out the ship, when Ahsoka got out the ship, oh, man. and went into space, yeah. um, she was not going to down one of theirs, right? Like, what you um, think when she she came out with the Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she had the all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I like that though. I like that. I forgot to add before that had happened. Um, baby girl, they got um, uh, Morgan had them. She got from from the from the from the damn rig. She had the super lasers, or whatever they called them, and, and shot the kind yeah, of and able to hit the ship yeah, and, and knock and knocked yeah. them, knocked them, um, uh, Hu Yang out for a while, right? Yo, like, I thought Hu Yang was while. done. Ship was down. I thought Hu Yang was done because he ate it. He was. I was like, oh shit! I'm like, oh yeah. okay, Hu Yang got it there. All right, they're gonna have to yeah, another one. Sabine, yeah, Sabine fixed it. They get the moving. And now we get to the part where they flying through the upper atmosphere, and the mm. damn Hercule the, the made the made the appearance. This whole ep- <laughs> this this whole yeah this whole scene was incredible to me, man. Um, oh my god! Just them goodness. getting through the atmosphere, man. The way they was yeah. the way they was flying through, and you saw the Pergil, man. Pergil looked better in my opinion, like better than I would have imagined, right? Like yeah, absolutely. If, if you if absolutely. you compare the Pergil, it's a lot of things in the animation that you just like. Oh, well, that just obviously works. Like it's a lot of costumes, hairstyles, the way that people uh, people move and they, they talk and they lightsaber, you know, lightsaber battles that look better, in my opinion, in the in the animated uh, animated series than in live action. Not with the Pergil. Pergil are, are far superior in live action than they are than what yes. we see. 
and rebels. Like we get it, like we get the idea what a pergil is, and we kind of understand the scale and, and what they can do. But seeing them in live action, you for me almost was like for, for me like I was like, man, you could almost make a, a separate movie about the pergil. Like, Just like off the pergil, pergil in themselves. That's how good they look. <laughs> that's how good they look, man. Like you can you can yeah. build, you can build a show around pergil, like yeah, and what they can do, just how incredible the scale they had on compared to the ship. I was like, that's man. I was see, and you really and they go back to, to they go back scale. to like Felonius, right. like man. They go back to Felonius, like, fam, how much was how much has Feloni? We talked about George. How much has Feloni been held back by animated? By by making yeah. only animated. Yeah. Yeah. How much was yeah. he holding back? Because it's like, yeah. damn. You you can you can you you conceive the pergil like you that, like the concept of a, of a pergil like but but uh, again man to bring it home that's a long way like you said a long winded way of me saying that uh I just yeah I thought that seems incredible I, I like that you're line. right man I didn't think about that like the, you got you really got to see the scale of the pergil I remember you know in Amanda when we first see the pergil in the hyperspace like man they they large and they you can see they how big they are but like it's still shadows in the distance. Yeah, yeah, you can see they large, but like, but now when we 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 up close, like they about to get smashed and crushed and everything by some of them, and like they weaving in and out, and then it was dope when they uh finally got to the part, and then Sabine was like, you know, that was the first time I seen them since since Ezra left or whatever her line was, like, cause that's real, yeah, that's a, that's yeah. real, yeah, and, and it was now. like. And even through that, like this was the first time that after that, that kind of whole situation was the first time we saw Ahsoka smile. Oh yeah, like I, I literally kind of put that in my notes. <laughs> yeah, I thought of that too. I meant to say that. Yeah, you yeah. finally cracks a damn smile. Like, yeah, man, that was a that was a big moment. That was kind of, um... and again, for what I had in my notes. For some reason, even though they're not, I don't think they're George's like original idea. I think it's more Filoni. George would have done like I feel. I just feel. I just think George would have done something like this. I think he would have appreciated that, like the Pergil. Oh, one hundred percent. These Leviathan size size creatures who can because because you believe it, man. Like when you see them, when you see them alive, actually, you're like, oh yeah, okay, I can see how they could go to another galaxy. Like that is. An incredible animal, <laughs> like, and with the like, explanation that that Hu Yang had at the end about that, like you know, like um, because he didn't see the pergil and they were talking, and he was like, yeah, um, um, could when she asked him about the rig, and she was like, could could something like that uh, get you to another galaxy? And it was like, yeah, like you know the plot points, um, and to get you there, this is yeah, similar yeah, to what they have in the yeah, old Jedi archives yeah. where they, they were able to travel yeah. other galaxy. If because you they, the right they, they charted the paths of the of the star whales, aka the Pergils. He was like, and they was like, well, you know, the ones we just saw. And he was like, what? When did that happen? Basically, but it was like, like this this whole episode, and we know we started the conversation with that. Like this whole episode was like you say, it definitely is a line in the sand for for everyone, right? Like anyone that's on the fence, either you're along for the ride for this because it's because it's because this is what it's gonna be. And if he get to do what potentially could be done with this new galaxy, where he can have his own Star Wars story, right? His own Star Wars story that that where we we, we kind of say it had to be one one or the other, where the sequel trilogies happen, but they was over here. Yeah. <laughs> right? They was over here. Which, oh, like, we know as crazy as it sounded. We we would have said that if you and I would have said that, you know, we were talking about world between worlds. We had our yep. discussions and all this and all that. But if yeah. we would have said that six months ago, it sounded it would have sounded. I don't think that sounds crazy now. No, I don't. It don't. That he can have yeah. a whole story happens that just yeah. is just on the other side of. Yeah, it just it's a whole other galaxy where it's happening. Not yeah, multiverse, not this, not that. It's over here, and like you lose the like, similar like fallen not fallen order, but with the game um, uh, Survivor, right? Survivor, where yeah. they went to Tantalor, and you had to have some kind of way to get there. If you can't map it out, it's over. Like you away, you can't even get back <laughs> from Tantalor. You get what I'm saying? Thanks. 
Remember, remember how you mad he was about that? Like, man, Cal yeah. better not be alive, man. And I was like, well, Cal yeah. probably could be alive over there. Like, he Cal just probably is alive. alive. <laughs> like, you know, you almost listen, man. They not gonna present it unless that's what that's gonna play a part, bro. The Tana Lord is not gonna be fan it, fam. Tana Lord is not just gonna be un un uninhabited, right? And, yeah. and you're right, man. You're right. This new this a new galaxy. We yeah. never. This is uncharted territory. The same way the sequel trilogy was at one point uncharted territory. This is now, this is another sequel trilogy or or not another sequel trilogy, but this is potentially, this is the first time we truly looking at another sequel, right? Because it's one thing to say, oh no, this was just the time before the sequel trilogy. I get that. That's, that's going to happen. We know Luke, you know, he go through his thing with the school and all that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Ben, Ben Solo. But this right here, this is another galaxy. You got to change the opening a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. A galaxy yeah. far, far away. That was the galaxy yeah. that inhabited all the systems that we familiar with, right? This is yes. the first time that we literally don't know what the hell. We don't know anything about this system, this, this galaxy. Exactly. We got new systems here. We got new in- yeah. potentially new enemies. It's more than it's, it's bigger than just the empire, right? So, yes. so you're right, man. Like, I don't think it's gonna be as uh as easy as because we here, like third episode, we here, second week of the show, we here where all the characters are in place mm-hmm. in in front of the the hyperspace rings, right? So it's not like we they they didn't draw this out for a reason. So um, I don't think it's gonna be as easy as just all right, yeah, oh, they brought Thrawn, Thrawn back, and now we got to fight this war back in the regular galaxy. Like, nah, there's this, this something else. <laughs> this, yeah. I mean, it don't, or at least, like you said, it don't sound crazy to think this is something else, that this is going to be a new galaxy, and they're, and they're going to have they're gonna have new adventures in this galaxy far, far away. In this galaxy far, far away. In time, and, 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 and again, my bad, but she said something no, no, about good. time. When she said uh, he's calling across time and space, what and you brought up a great uh, theory about that could be you were talking about how that could be Ezra and not um, not Thrawn. Yeah. Either way, yeah. And then that's crazy because that is you right. Like they could be Thrawn, Ezra, but the fact that she said that is like you don't know how time works when you're doing this because they or they do got to travel across into another galaxy. So it's like you never know, like. Time can be can can move different, you know what I mean. So you don't know Absolutely. if you know they travel the way they travel. For them, it might be a certain amount of time, but for for the Pergil and, and, and Thrawn and Ezra, they might have just got there like two days yeah. ago. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like Interstellar. Like you remember how they? Yeah, I was about to say they could be Interstellar yeah, all like over dilation. Like, yeah. You yeah. Just, that might play a part, man. So why the sequel trilogy stuff is happening? Even the stuff with Luke. Hey man, they might just leave them behind. Yeah, they might be in another galaxy in another time, like you know, another part of like time might move different. And, and while all this stuff is happening, they fight their own adventure. You know, they got their own adventures in another in the other galaxy. Like dog, you gonna kill off? Like think about it. Like like in a, in a, in a, and again, we I just don't think it sounds crazy. So beyond saying like, are they gonna do this? They gonna do that? It's not as crazy. It might have sounded, you know, a couple months ago, right? You know, because the only thing we can have it on on our plate was like, oh man, the 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 world between worlds, right? Like you look at it like that. Now, now we dealing with time travel, we dealing no. with this and we did that. But now we didn't introduce a whole a galaxy, right? This is a galaxy. Yeah. You could legit have a whole Jedi order, and and then with some right. of the Easter eggs you're doing this with the old Republic, with so some of the people that might have been villains Ooh. that we ain't seen that should have been sequel trilogy villains. <laughs> Could be the villains or the people from over there, right? Man, like it's a lot so of names ways, that's from, from the books, from everything, and you know, Filoni like to take from that. Could be who they have. Cause think about it. You got Grogu. You are gonna have this young Jason. You know what I'm saying? This, that, and the third Ezra. Like that's they all young. I mean, even beyond that, like they you say, young young. But Jason, yeah. you gonna what you gonna we gonna have them? You gonna have all these like, like, like? Okay, Kylo just mopped all of them. Right, mm. like he just mopped. All that, that's what I'm saying. Okay, that's that's what, hard like, to think. Like, yeah, like, yeah. like you just telling me Jason just setting up just to get mopped by 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 by, by, Ky- by Kylo Ren. Like, come on, yeah. 
And then you bring, yeah. like you say, with a with an Ahsoka possibly around, whether even she older, like all them just getting like dog walked by Kylo Ren because he got mad at Luke for doing that. Like, come on, and then now. He, come on. Like, like it, it would have had to been come like another, it would have to been like another Padawan situation for come that. Come on now. Like you come get what now. I'm saying? Like, like the like yeah. the, the temple, like only Padawans they all right. were left. You're right. And man. a couple of, that's that has to be the case. So Grogu got to be somewhere else. Um Jason gotta and be man, somewhere man else. Don't too. <laughs> Man, don't gotta be somewhere else. It, it sounds like it's gonna be another galaxy, man. Like, and, cause remember, man, and the, it was crazy. It's crazy that you brought, bro. It's crazy that you brought up the old republic. Cause in the old republic, that's how they discovered the Sith. They discovered the Sith. It, I don't think it was the. It wasn't the Pergils, but it was like a brother and sister who mm-hmm. was, uh, who was like, you know, um, they was basically like. It was like uh, they was travelers, you know. Hyperspace was, uh, or you know, was still like new for the, for, you know, lack of a better term, whatever. But they basically just charted out a bunch of routes and was just. They ended up on the other side of like the the galaxy, bro. And like the Sith discovered them, like, hey, like they ain't even like the the, the Republic didn't even know. Well, anything, man. Now I'm getting my my history mixed up, but I think it was the Sith had like escaped. From like war, right? So they had they was okay. just hiding on the other side of the galaxy. But anyway, long story short, yeah, that's a good that's a good point, man. Like that's how they end up rediscovering the Sith Empire is is through hyperspace and just you know traveling basically across the galaxy. So yeah, man, it's, it got to be different enemies out there. And you're right, man. That that's 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 right because that's a lot, man. That's a lot of credit to give Kylo Ren, bro. If he gonna get rid of, <laughs> he gonna get hey, rid of up? Jason, yeah, and, and then proceed to dog walk Luke. Like, come on, uh, <laughs> you, you can't. Come on now, that's tough, man. That's tough, bro. Uh, we, we talked about know. this, man. They Filoni gotta reconcile this, bro. You can't, you can't get around this. Like, you cannot get around. You can't get around this idea. And, and we even talked about it, and we even came to grips with it. That uh, listen, man, it's a big gap of time. He can complete his entire story <laughs> and then just wait it and just say, like, all right, what well, else the end of my story? And yeah, yeah, what I'll have 30 years from now, the sequel trilogy happens. Okay. That now it's not crazy to think like that's not enough for Filoni, bro. <laughs> he got more, he got too many stories to tell. Bro, he can bring everybody over here. Including the bad batch, like like we 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 all assume that the bad batch is gonna they gonna die, right? But hey man, one of them can make it, you know. All you need is hey, one. Is Omega? What else is Omega? She young, yeah, Omega. she growing yeah. naturally, bro. Facts. Facts. Like she ain't got no she ain't getting sped up. Facts. Right. Rex, like you say, have... Rex Rex <laughs> supposed to be in this show. Like Rex, so at oh, least one man. of the bad batch, not all of them gonna get <laughs> gonna get somebody. Yeah, they're not all gonna die. Yeah, you know, Omika would be like, she could probably be like in her late twenties by now, wouldn't she? Yeah, yeah, wow, something thirty, something. You know, like she yeah, like she'd be almost she might be 30, like Sabine yeah. age or something. Like we don't know. Like yeah. you know, I, you know, we could really break it down. But like a little older than Sabine, Sabine was yeah. like twenty something when the when the um, like twenty I think when the Lothal thing, something like that. Like so, like yeah. whatever. She like thirty, yeah. and and yeah. Omega like a what, like eleven, little ten. Yeah. Right. Something like that. So you know, it's probably you know, it's probably she probably a little bit older, but you get my you get my point. Like it ain't yeah. it ain't far. Off. It wouldn't be like we we see Omega now. I'm not. I'm not we 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 would we would. So my my point is, Filoni verse can happen over there, and it wouldn't be crazy that that a whole uh, uh, you know we have a gal like you say we have a galaxy far far away, but now we got galaxies far far away. Yeah. Right, and wow. but actual, actual. So, so do we not doing these? Okay, we we finished the sequel trilogy, and now we're gonna go fifteen years in the future, and and it still don't sound like y'all really got that part figured out about what y'all gonna do next. Well, we we actually, Filoni know what he gonna do next, and he just yeah, I just he, saw it. I was watching the thing when he was like talking to something. He's like, look, I'm just getting people together because, and he used the line I said it earlier. I'm just trying to pass on what I have learned, like. You're not putting a team together <laughs> just so they can have them get mopped out by Kylo Ren. Nah, B, that's that's that right, can't man. be what it's gonna oh, be, man. man. You're gonna use another galaxy. Look, I'm just saying, 
I'm just, I'm not saying I'm just. It's the saying. time and space thing too that just that throws me off. Like I, I could, again, man, I've come to, you know, I, I'm at peace with the idea of the sequel trilogy happening eventually, right? But I, but I also yeah. always recognize that there's such a big gap of time that it really don't matter. Like it, it, yeah. when it, in terms of like how it affects the story we looking at now, but now you throwing in bro, he, people talking to you across time and space, you already introduced the world between worlds, man, yeah. the more and more. And, and, and that's just, bro, we can look at that episode a hundred times and you, you won't find something new. Fam, he's he hearing day. voices across time and space. <laughs> Hearing he Obi Wan talk to Luke about the Force, it, we don't know. And, and remember, he only he just walked a certain path. He didn't go around and was like, "Oh, what's in, what's in here?" He just found what he was looking for, which was, uh, he was you know, basically he was on he was looking for Ahsoka and Kanan. But we don't know about them other windows or the other uh, yeah, bro. Literally doors, every bro. era of the Jedi was talking. Ray's voice was in there, bro. Ray finale hadn't happened yet. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like when when that when that happened, well, I think they probably were just about to come out with the, the Last Jedi, 2017. Like That's Ray's wild. voice was in there, but like you say, Obi talking to Luke. I think Leia voice was in there. We know uh, Yoda voice was in. There. It was all kind of Jedi voices. Might have been Qui Gon. Like I just watched it the other day. Um, yeah, I watched. It. Um, and then, like you say, like it's so we got not only we had stuff that had happened, hadn't happened yet. I don't know, man. We see how that play out, man. But I think you, I think you got, I think you on to something, man.